Good day. This is Will George. We will be completing a virtual tour of Rumney, the surrounding area that extends to Clefrid, to Tredega, Ebbovale, Dulles, Merthyr Tidville, Pontlotin, Bochru, Abatusuk, and New Tredega. The primary focus will, of course, be on Rumney, on its history and on its development. Rumney, the village that became a town, situated approximately 21 miles from Cardiff Bay and to the north-west of the Rustwith, approximately 75 miles. Rumney is not far from the sea, not far from the not far from the means of international trade on the sea worldwide. The town came to prominence in the early 1800s due to the resources found locally of coal, iron ore and limestone. Not far away the Brecon Beacons rise to their highest peak of Penavan, 2,906 feet. Rumi itself lies approximately just over 1,300 feet above sea level. This video is the first in a series that will follow a virtual tour of Rumi, talking about its past, its history, and about some of its present, the reorganization, the change of the landscape, of the clearance of houses and the removal of factories and industrial buildings, and the replacement by the modern alternative. We start our journey at the roundabout at the heads of the Valley Road, the A465 that parallels the route from Merthyr to Rumney Bridge, whereupon a railway ran next to the old Merthyr Rumney mountain road parallel to the Merthyr Abergavenny tramway, which once connected to the Rumney railway line that extended to Cardiff. In this series, we will also look at the churches, the chapels, the prominence and the importance of religion within the community, the origins of the Andrew Buchan Brewery and the landmark pubs and taverns that marked the area. We will also touch on a number of the local famous people who came from Rumney and who linked it to the rest of the world. In completing the Rumney virtual tour, we give recognition and thanks to Google and Google Earth for the versatility of their data, which has allowed these videos to be completed. After leaving the A465 and going around two roundabouts, we take the turn in down towards Clechrid to meet the junction with the main Rumney Road. If we carried on straight on the Clechrid Road, we would go towards Tavanabach and to Tredega. 
But today, our interest lies on the Rumley Road. To the right-hand side is the Rumley River, and on the left-hand side, we pass the Rumley House, which was the property built for the first manager of the Union Ironworks between the manager's house and the furnace for the Union Ironworks. A number of cottages were built, referred to as the Butte Cottages, in order to house the workers who worked at the furnace together with their families. At Clechrid, we were faced with Upper Clechrid and Lower Clechrid, which sided on the Abergavenny Murtha Trunk Road. We see that Rumley House is set in its own private grounds, which gave the manager and his family some degree of privacy from the working environment. The Rumney House today is a hotel restaurant. Just below the Rumney House on the left hand side is a farm gate that leads to the site of the old furnace and where a path now will take you over the top of the old Bryn Oir farm to the reclaimed area of the Bryn Bach Park into Vannebach. You'll notice the foliage on each side of the roadway that is currently regrowth within the last 50 to 80 years. The boot cottages were themselves knocked down and the materials used to build other properties in the Rumney town. Under a lightly clouded blue sky, the rural beauty of Wales is evident on this short stretch of road between Clechrid and the town of Rumney itself. Google Earth offers us a chance to see the topographical area in black and white photography that was taken in December of 1945. This shows us the area prior to the loss of the coal and iron industry and the reclamation of the land and the demolition of old stone built houses 
with the renewal of modern properties with electricity, running water, gas central heating. The character of Rumney and the surrounding villages changed when streets were demolished in full and where new named courts, terraces and housing estates are the norm. We will look at the layout on the black and white photography from 1945 at a later date and we will compare the various locations with their modern counterparts.
Thank you.